नमस्कार और इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ मॉन्यूमेंट्स एंड साइट्स ऑफ वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज डे एंड इट इज ग्रेट दैट वी कैन हैव दिस क्विज इन अ हेरिटेज मॉन्यूमेंट व्हिच इज द कॉन्वेंट ऑफ सेंट मोनिका अ वेरी स्पेशल क्विज ऑन अ स्पेशल डे विथ क्विज अ डे एंड द क्विज इज कॉल्ड क्विज अर फर्स्ट quiz this year anirudh sen gupta organized a quiz year 10 years back 20 12 years back i think uh, also that was on international museum day and this time we are having it on international world heritage day so welcome all of you and so excited to have 12 teams registered one just now so that makes it 12 uh, details about the quiz i hand over to sanat Hope you all have a great evening. Enjoy yourselves, and uh, we'll see who makes it to the next round. Thank you, Natasha. Uh, welcome, everyone, to the Quizards Quiz. Glad you could make it here today. My name is Sanat. I'll be your uh, quiz master today. So we have twelve teams. We're going to have a quick. 30 minute preliminary round it's a written round so we'll hand you all clipboards uh, the questions are in the paper itself um, and you'll have 30 minutes um, at the end of that we'll look at the scores and the top 6 teams will make it to the finals which will follow so we'll have five rounds in the finals all themed around moka and heritage and so on so i won't reveal more you'll see in the final so without further ado let's start with the prelims so uh, we'll hand out uh, the sheets would request uh, all of you to put your phones on silent or in airplane mode uh, please do google or try other similar methods like chat gpt and so on for answers it's more fun trying to figure out the answers on your own before i announce the six finalist teams uh, Special mention. Uh, we have some special prize categories today. Uh, we will give out the prizes at the end of the quiz. But I want to call out the three special prize category winners. Uh, in the first category, we had the all under 18 team, where everyone in the team is under 18 years of age. And uh, the winner in this category is the Taligao Wizards. So can I ask you to stand up, please? Your name. Uh, introduce yourself. Uh, hello, I'm Vandesh Dikorsha. I'm Kiara. I'm Vanessa. Good evening, Vandesh, Vandesh, and Kiara. 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 Good evening, Vandesh, For the teams who don't make it to the finals, uh, there's a bunch of audience questions as well with some cool prizes. So do hang around. Um, there's something for you there. Uh, in the second special category, we have the all women team, and the winner here there is Fulu team. Can I ask you to stand up, please? Can you just tell your names? I'm Tanvira. Uh, I'm Daina. Krishan Prabhu Dasar. Well done. Give them a big hand. Diana, Krishan, Tanvi, winning the all women team category. The third category we had was the family team, where all three members of the team are from the same family. And the winner in this category is Fernandez Familia. Can I ask you to stand up, please? Rashada Fernandez. My name is Pravin Fernandez. I am Ramadas Fernandez. Thank you for my big hand. Winners of the family team. So now let's look at the finalists. Uh, I'm going to go in reverse order of score. Uh, as you come up, feel free to pick whatever spot is open. Um, so we have teams one to six. So one will be over there. Okay, so before I announce the six finalists, uh, special mention to a team 
We just missed out on start questions. I'd like you to give them a big hand as well. This is uh, Moka Pe Chauka, uh, Sinichal Rajiv and Mayur. Very narrowly missing out on start questions. Uh, sorry guys. Okay, so let's look at the finalists now. Um, at the same score as Moka Pe Chauka, but with more starred answers. We have the triple A's, the triple A's, Arnold, Arina and Anjali. So if you could come up here and uh, you can pick any spot from 1 to 6, they are all open right now. Wizards of Art will be team number 3. Next team in the final is Agnelites, Connie, Nashan and Daniel. I'm from Alton. 
that if a team gets the answer right, then the next question will be to the immediately next team. So for example, if team 4 were to get an answer right, the next question would then go to team 5 and so on. Uh, we'll also have what we call pounds, which means that when I ask a question and it's not your direct, but you feel like you're very sure of the answer, you can just write it down and raise your hand and come check it. Uh, if you get it right, you get plus 10, even though it's not your turn, because you count 12. But if you get it wrong, you get minus 5 for wasting my time. So, so pounds of discretion, uh, you can actually use it quite strategically. Uh, so, plus 10 for every right answer, or uh, minus 5 if you pounce and get it incorrect. But if it passes to you and it get it incorrect, that's fine. Uh, no negatives there. Uh, any questions about the rules? So, shall we begin? Alright, uh, round one is about museums in churches and historical monuments around the world. Let's start with the first question which goes to team one. Open on the pounds to all other teams. The saint is believed to have lived in the 4th century AD, born in present day Algeria. She is considered the patron saint of homemakers and mothers. A city in the western USA is named after her as are several institutions. Name this saint who is not too far away. Team 2 has already pounced. One second. Uh, no. Uh, all right. So all teams have pounced. Let us go to team one. Saint Monica. It is Saint Monica. Uh, so ten points to all teams one to five, and uh, minus five to team six. Saint Monica. Uh, 
we are right now in the church of saint monica so team one got that right next direct question will be to team two open on the palms to all other teams Uh, this is a queue of people waiting to get into which museum which is free for access to the public on the last sunday of each month there are 24 galleries with over 70000 works of which roughly 20000 are on display at any given time direct to team 2 open on the pounds to the other teams for a few seconds Closing pounds in three, two, one. Any other team pouncing? Okay, pounds is closed. All right. Uh, team two, it's your direct. This is the Museo Vaticano. Museo di Vaticano or the Vatican Museum. Ten points to team two. Ten points also to team one. Who got it on the pounds? This is the Vatican Museums. Okay. Next question to Team Three on the direct. Open on the palms to all of the teams. These artifacts are usually circular and made from precious metals. The design of the base and shaft are indicative of the period they were made in. What are they called? The word comes from the Latin for to show. And has no connection to the word for a scary creature, which sounds like it shares a common root. Direct is to team three. I see a few pounces. I'll come to you. Uh, closing pounds in three, Correct. two, one. Okay, pounces closed. Team three, go for it. Monsters. This is a monsters. So ten points on the direct to team three. Ten points on the pounds to teams one, two, five, and six. Monsters. So. Uh, Which incidentally doesn't share a common word root with monster, even though it sounds like that. Uh, it's a completely different word origin. Okay, so three questions answered on the direct so far. Question four to team four. The Rockwood Chapel opened in 1971 and welcomes people of all faiths. Uh, three famous architects collaborated, and the chapel features art by the abstract painter Mark Rockwood. Which southern U.S. city, which also serves as a different kind of gateway to the heavens, is this chapel in? Direct to team four. Open on the palms for another five, four, three, two, one. Second palms is closed. Direct to team four. New Orleans. New Orleans is what Team Four said. That is incorrect. Passes to Team Five. Pass. Team Five passes. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Not Los Angeles. Passes to Team One. There's no negatives on the pass. But I need a quick answer. Team One. Team one, I'll have to pass you. Uh, goes to team two. Uh, Houston. Ten points to team two. This is Houston. Ten points to team two. Ten points also to team three. Who got it on the pounds? This is Houston, which is a different kind of gateway to the heavens. Uh, it has the space center. So team two got that on the pass, which means the next direct is again to team three. Open on the palms to all other teams. Here it is. Uh, which saint martyred by the Roman Emperor Diocletian is depicted here? Direct to team three. 
Okay, uh, all five teams are bouncing, uh, closing bounds. Team three. Uh, Stephen. Not same Stephen. Uh, I'll randomly go to one of the other teams which bounce. The same Sebastian. Uh, so no points to team three, but ten points to all other teams who got it on the bounce. So team one, team two, team four. Team 5 and Team 6 get 10 points. This is St. Sebastian. Last question of this round, uh, which will go to that passed all the way around. Uh, this will go to Team 4. So, Team 4, here's your question and open on the pounds to all other teams. This building was originally a small Catholic chapel in the 1830s and was expanded to a Catholic boys' school in 1867. More wings and sections were added, but it fell into disuse after the school moved in 1988. In 1996, the building was converted into the country's first art museum, which now hosts the largest collection of contemporary art in Southeast Asia. Where is this museum? Direct this to team 4, open on the pounds to all other teams. Pounds will close in 5. 4, 3, 2, 1, pounds is closed, team 4, where are you ready? Tell the name of the country. Yeah. Where is this museum? Philippines. Not the Philippines, uh, passes to team 5. What do you think? What do you think? Malaysia. Not Malaysia, passes to team 6. Answer. Here, answer. answer. Singapore. Singapore is the right answer. 10 points to team 6. So I was a little deliberately vague when you asked me country because in the case of Singapore, it's both the country and the city. Uh, this is Singapore, the Singapore Art Museum. Okay, so that brings us to the end of round 1. Uh, we have an audience question and some fun audience prizes as well. So, if you know the answer, just raise your hand and come to you. Don't shout out the answer. Here it is. What mythological creatures are depicted here on these altar ornaments? The faces and hair show the distinct Indo-Portuguese fusion. But look at the rest of that ornament. What mythological creatures do they represent? Yeah. Mermaids. Uh, not mermaids. Anyone else in the audience? The Nagas. Nagas is the right answer. Yes. So you can see below the distinctive faces and hair, there's a snake body there. These are the Nagas. Uh, right answer. Alright, so let's go to round two. And uh, the previous question ended at team 6, you got Singapore, so we're going to start this round back with team 1. Uh, so this round is themed on the Holy Hill and Old Goa. Here's the first question to team 1, open on the pounds to all other teams. Uh, the church is in the form of a Greek cross and has a large dome with Latin inscriptions on its inside. The Corinthian style facade of the church has four granite statues of St. Peter, Paul, John the Evangelist and Matthew. The main altar is based on the one at the church of San Nicolo Verona and was ordered in 1713 under the patronage of Cosimo III, Grand Duke of Tuscany. Name of this church. Direct to team 1, open on the pounds to all other teams, pounds closing in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, pounds closed, I'll check from the side. Team 1, you can go for the answer. Uh, St. Cajetan's Church. 10 points to Team 1. 
also called the Church of Divine Providence. Uh, ten points also to the team three, to team four, and to team five. Uh, minus five to team six. Team one got that right. Team two. Next direct will be to you. Open on the pounds to all other teams. Uh, in this widely published 1750 map, what location is circled in red? I'll show a bigger image. So this is a map from 1750 of what was then Old Goa or the city of Goa. You can see over red. here this some sort of a place circled in red, and I've also blacked out the legend up there of what that place is. I just need the name of the place. Circled in red. Direct us to team two, and it's open on the palms to all of the teams for five, four, three, two, one. Palms is closed. All right, uh, and with the palms, team two. Team three, at the Amri. Team four, Raibandar. Not Raibandar. Team five, Saint Catherine's Temple. Not Saint Catherine's Temple. We don't get team six pounds. We don't get so another chance. No, you don't. No. Okay. <laughs> Can keep uh, guessing. Team one. The chapel on the mound. Uh, it was team two's direct. Uh, so team six gets uh, minus five on the pounds. Uh, so it's either a case of bad perspective back then, or maybe the settlement Mirror? was as small as that. But this is punchy. So you see on the legend as well that says Panjim there. Panjim was well, insignificant back then. Uh, so this is Panji. So that is team two's direct. Went all the way around. Next question will be to team three. Open on the pounds to all other teams. Uh, in an illustration of Sacred Card, this image of the Virgin Mary called Nirmala Mata, which you can actually see at the Mukha, has a Hindu crown as well as a Christian halo. What is the object portrayed as standing on? So I need two objects. Uh, if you're pouncing, you need to get both parts right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only if it comes. If you just have one part right, you will still get a minus five. So if you're pouncing, you need both parts correct. Direct is to team three, and I close the pounds in five, four, three, two, one. Pounds is closed. Team three, when we are ready. Lotus and the world. Lotus and the world. Uh, team four. Uh, Lotus in. Question is if we can get to come to team two. 
So team two, it's your direct. Uh, open on the palms to all teams. Uh, this is a Google Street View image of the path leading up to which building? Direct is to team two. Open on the palms to all of the teams. Palms closes in five, four, three, two, one. Palms is closed. Are you punching? Yeah, no, you're punching or what? So they will be Okay, uh, so we had uh, team one, team four, and team six pounds. Uh, direct us to team two. Okay. We'll say this is the back of the Sea Cathedral. Back of the Sea Cathedral, uh, passes to team 3. This is the, uh, the chapel just behind. Same it is called? St. John. Uh, team 4 pounds, so team 5. Did we get a chance? Team 5. 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 Uh, the Santa Monica Nunnery. Uh, not the Santa Monica Nunnery. Uh, two pounds. Uh, team one also pounds. Uh, it was your direct. So, anyone in the audience? Yes. Jocha Bahadidia Rosary. Yes, uh, that is a surprise. Uh, If you get out of this building and take yeah. a ride, uh, you reach this Church of Our Lady of the Rosary. So yeah. that's uh, 10 points on the pounds to team 1, team 4, and minus 5 to team 6. <laughs> that question passed all the way around. Uh, next question will go to team 3. Team 3, your direct. Uh, this still from the Bollywood song, Satya, is from which film and where was it shot? So again, two parts. If you're pouncing, I need both parts to be correct. I need the name of the yeah. film and where it was shot. Direct is to Team 3. Closing pounds in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pounce is closed. Are bouncing? Pounce is closed. Uh, two teams bouncing. Alright, direct goes to team 3. Team 3, go for it. It's the same as Okay. Uh, team 4 bounced. Uh, team 5 bounced. Team 6. You know the movie? In the, in the Augustine's monastery, the monastery across the road, in Augustine's monastery. Okay, and, speaking uh, the mic. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I can't remember the movie. We'll go with. Team 6? No, we'll pass. The okay, uh, goes to team 1. say any No. Uh, this is the ruins of St. Augustine and the movie is Singham. Uh -huh. I thought of that, no. Perfect answer. Uh, so I'll give five points to team three for getting the tower of St. Augustine or the ruins of St. Augustine. Uh, the full ten points to team one. And on the pounds, I have ten points to team four and ten points to team five. Okay, so team 1 got that right, so team 2, it's your direct again. Uh, last question of this round, team 2. Uh, archaeological studies at the Holy Hill have revealed bone fragments. DNA studies show they belong to a woman from Eastern Europe or Central Asia. Uh, the bones are believed to belong to Ketewan the Martyr, a 17th century queen and saint, Roger Tethin, Iran. 
In 2021, some of the relics were returned to the original country. Which country? That in the modern day does yeah. not border. Direct us to team two. I'm closing pounds in five, four, three, two, one. Pounds is closed. Let me go around. Team 2, go for it. We'll see Georgia. 10 points to Team 2, it is Georgia. 10 points on the counts to Teams 1, Team 3, Team 4, and Team 5. Uh, minus 5 to Team 6. So yes, uh, Armenia actually borders Iran. So, so wait, what I wanted was that at the end of round two, uh, we have another audience question, and after that audience question, we'll take a quick look at the scores after two rounds. When we start the next round, uh, we're going to start with team three because I think team two gave the last right answer, which was Georgia. Audience question: If you know the right answer, raise your hand. Uh, which two present-day countries were part of this territory that issued? This 1952 stamp. You've already got a chance. I'm going to see if anyone else knows the answer. But if no one does, I'll come back to you. Yeah. Uh, Rwanda and Burundi. Very well answered. Yes. So we have a clean sweep of audience prizes happening there right now, pretty much. Uh, but these are Rwanda and Burundi, which uh, at some point of time were a single territory, originally under the German Empire, then part of the Belgian Empire, and so on before they became independent. All right. So at the end of two rounds, uh, let's take a look at the scores. Uh, I'm going to give the mic to Nirupama, who is officially scorer of the day. Why, why, why? Okay, so the scores are really, really close. So at the end of two rounds, we have team one with 90 points. Team two is at 60. Team 3 is also at 60. Team 4 is also at 60. We have Team 5 at a score of 60. Uh, and Team 6, unfortunately, is at a score of 5. Oh. Okay, 5. Yeah, it's still time. It's still time. Close game. Uh, two rounds down, three rounds to go. So let's take a look at what the theme of the next round is. It's going to start with team number three. Open on the pounds to all other teams, of course. The next round is on feasts, festivals, food, and music of Goa. So, first question of this round to team three. Epiphany or Three Kings Day is celebrated with gusto every year on 6th of January and takes the form of boys list of the Majai, among other things. What term is used to describe the eve of Epiphany? Perhaps a work of literature will help. Question is to team 3. Uh, I'll close pounds in 5, 4, 3, one pounds is closed, only one team has pounced. Okay, pounds closed, uh, direct to team 3. Team 3, whenever you are ready. Three musketeers is what team 3 said. I'll pass you to team 4. Huh? 
Vespers, not Vespers, passes to team 5. Three wise men. Uh, not the three wise men, passes to team 6. Midsummer. Not Midsummer, passes to team 1. Passes. Okay, team 2 got it on the pounds. So before the answer is revealed, let's go to the audience. Yes, Rajiv has an answer. 12th night is the right answer. So 10 points to, 10 points to team 2 on the pounds. Uh, that is team 3's direct. Uh, went unanswered on the pass. So the next question will be direct to team Four. Open on the pounds to all other teams. Team 4, here's your question. At the 2023 International Film Festival of India, which Hollywood star, whose face is blacked out here, was honored with the Lifetime Achievement Award? And who is the award named after? So, two parts. If you're pouncing, I need both parts correct. Who won the Lifetime Achievement Award at the International Film Festival of India 2023 in Goa? And who is the award named after? Direct us to team 4. Closing pounds is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pounds is closed. Team 4, ready when you are. Okay. The prize is named after Dadazai Palke, Lifetime Achievement. And the Actor is uh, uh, my, uh, my Michael. He he's in the Ant Man movie. I'm not getting the juice. You think? Uh, give you one last chance to. His wife's wife. I think his wife's wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to pass you there. <laughs> Goes to team 5. Team 5. The award is Dada Sahib Palke Award. And the recipient was Michael Douglas. Okay, team 6. You didn't say if it's right or wrong. No, we are doing by the same thing what they say. He's wrong, he's wrong. Say that. Indecent, indecent. Indecent, say that. Indecent, say that. Just Michael Douglas. Say, say, say. Just say the name of the film. The name of the film. So you want to name with the film? Film. No, no it's not fully correct. correct. It is the name, name of the film. He acted in Indecent Proposal. Yeah, Michael Douglas it is. And it is named after? Dada Sahib Palke. No. That's what they said as well. Uh, team 1 pounds. Uh, team 2. Uh, Dada Sahib Palke. Harrison Ford. Team 3. Yeah, it's Michael Douglas and Satyajitri. Okay, so I'm going to give uh, the full 10 points for Michael Douglas and Satyajitri. 5 points to Team 10 points to Team 3. 5 points to Team 5 for saying Michael Douglas. And uh, 10 points to Team 1 on the pounds for getting the full set correct. So, Dada Sahib Palki Award is a Lifetime Achievement Award given by the Government of India. It's not part of the Film Festival of India. Uh, the recipient, of course, was Michael Douglas. And the last team to get the full set right was Team 3. So, the next question is going to back to Team number 4. So, Team 4, it's your direct. Open on the palms. Uh, the Goan Gumod is a percussion instrument in which a membrane is mounted on a clay vessel. Traditional membranes are made of a specific material. However, due to the Wildlife Protection Act, synthetic rubber yeah, yeah, or goat yeah. skin is now used. What was originally used? Uh, question is to be four. Pounds closes in five, four, three, two, one. Correct? 
Ten points on the pounds to team one, team two, team three, team five, and team six. So that is the monitor result, also for the board part. Uh, next question direct goes to team five. Team five, you are direct. Open on the pounds to all other teams. Uh, which singer, no stranger to company songs, is blanked out in this poster slash album cover? So it says blank and Lorna, Chris Perry's hit songs. Need the name of the singer. Direct is to team five, and the pounds will close in five, four. Three. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. One pound is closed. Yeah. Direct is to team five. Team five, ready when you are. Mohammad Rafi, ten points. Okay, so. Ten points to team five for getting Mohammad Rafi on the direct. On the pounds, we have ten points to team one, to team two. Oh, sorry, to team one, to team three, to team six. Team six. Next question is your direct. Open on the pounds to all other teams. Fifth question of this round: What recipe is being described here in the book, The Culinary Heritage of Goa? I'll show a bigger image. So it says preparation one hour. Uh, something things are blanked out. Can be served at breakfast or during evening tea time. And can also be served as a dessert with fruit or chocolate sauce. Uh, ingredients include wheat flour, coconut milk, water, jaggery. Something is blanked out. Egg, cardamom powder, grated coconut, salt to taste, ghee for frying. Uh, step one: grate coconut fine and keep aside. Step two is blanked out. Step three: mix all the ingredients. Something with the grated coconut in a bowl. Get a spoon batter. Now add. Blank, beat it together. Add more water. Let the batter rest. Heat ghee. Pour a large tablespoon in the frying pan and fry. Serve hot. Direct is to team six. And I'll close pounds in five, four, three, two, one. Uh, team three is bouncing. Okay, pounds is closed. Uh, direct to team six. Mike, see, take three answers. Filos. Ten points to team six. Yeah, good, good, good. Good. Job. These are filos, also called banana pancakes, also called good banana good fritters. Good job. Good job. So team six, ten points. Ten points also to team three. Giveaway there. Uh, all right, last question of this round, and then we're going to reverse order in the next two rounds. This question is to team one, and open on the pounds to all other teams. Uh, what annual event, the first of its kind in India, started in Goa in 2019? After a COVID-induced break, it ran again in 2022 and 2023, and will return in October this year. The 2023 version prominently featured this image. Which almost a thousand people were very happy to see. What event? Direct to team one and open on the pounds to all the teams. Pounds will close in like five, yeah. four, three, two, one. One team bounces. 
we just here also we are you fancy we are just also yeah. okay uh, two teams are bounced or direct is to team one right And paid forty thousand. Yes, it's more this year, by the way. If you so, team two got that, that, which means we'll start the next round. Well, actually, we're going to start the next round with team six. Yes, yeah, this is the right answer. Come, come, come. But we have an audience yes, question at the end of the round, so raise your hand if you know the answer. This is a twenty eighteen special edition stamp by India Post commemorating what? Correct. I see a hand raised there. Celebrating 125 years of the Yatra in Goa. Of course, Shilti. Give a big hand to Shilti. This is 125 years of the Yatra. Great answer there. So that brings us to slightly more than midway through. We have two more rounds to go. And we're going to reverse order now, so we're going to start this round with team six and go team five, four, and so on. Pounds are still open the same way. Let's look at what the new round is about. This is about art, architecture, and artists of Goa. All right. Um, first question to team six. Open on the pounds to all other teams. Uh, the masonry pedestal was designed to showcase a map of Portuguese colonies across Africa, India, and the East Indies. The original statue on the pedestal was replaced with a new bronze statue in 1972 with an Indian tricolor atop the new statue. Strong winds caused the flag to fall off in 1974, and eventually the flag was replaced with a torch. Give me either the name of the statue correct, correct, correct. or see, the see, exact see. location where you will find the statue. As, as, yeah, as. Yeah, as, but uh, the pounds are still open. Yeah. Some yeah. so closing pounds in five, four, three, two, one. Pounds is closed. Okay. Uh, team six. All yours. The statue at the Miramar Circle representing the brother points. Points, brother who died. Yes, Catholic and Indian boy. Statue at the Miramar Circle representing the brother who died. And do you know which statue was there earlier? Alfonso Alvarez. Alfonso Alvarez. Right answer there. Uh, Ten points to team six. Ten points on the pounds to teams five. To teams three. And to team one. All right. Next question is a direct to team five. Open on the pounds to all of the teams. As seen on the Azulejo de Goa website, what location does this tile depict? All clues in the picture. What location is shown in this tile? Direct to team five. Closing pounds to other teams in five. Four, three, which one? Which one? Two, one. Okay, you're bouncing. You're bouncing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You show, you show, you show, you show, you show. Okay. Which one? 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 Which one?
Okay, no problem. <laughs> Don't you bother. No, I'm not sure. Anyway, but I'm not going to say that. Alright, team 5. Ready when you are. Okay, shoot him. Mark, shoot him. 10 points. 10 points on the direct to team 5, 10 points on the pounds to team 6, to team 1, and to team 3. Uh, minus 5 to teams 2 and to team 4. Next question will be to team 4. Open on the pounds to all other teams. What is the title of this highly rated book by Clyde D'Souza? Several over themes such as the tiles from the previous question can be seen on the cover. So I need the bigger blank. What is blank out there? The title of the book. Okay, okay, okay. Direct is to team 4. And I'm going to close pounds in 5, 4, 3, one pound is closed. Fishing? Not fishing. Uh, anybody in the audience? Yes. I wanted to say your name first and then the answer. Stand up, please. Susegar. I'll get surprised. Uh, it is Susegar, to an art of contentment. Team 6 gets 10 on the pounds. Team 3 gets 10 on the pounds. The scores direct. 5 and pounds. Team 1 gets to minus 5. So this question went all the way around. Uh, that was to team 4. So the next question is to team 3. At what iconic location is the gallery, this, this gallery of Mario Miranda's art located? Again, all the clues in the picture. I need the name of the location. Hold on, I have to pounce first. Direct is to team 3. And I'll close pounce in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pounce is closed. better It's okay. Okay. So the direct is to team 3. Raise my 10 points. This is raise my You can see out the window the Mandavi. Uh, 10 points on the direct to team 3. 10 points on the pounds to teams 1. Team 4. Team 5. And team 6. Next question going to team 2. Construction of this structure began in 1632, the same year as the Taj Mahal. However, unlike the Taj, this work was completed in just two years. Foundation was made of tree trunks in laterite stone and includes over 35 arches. It is named after the title of Miguel de Morona and was for several years the largest of its kind in Asia. Talking about directly in two, open on the pounds, which will close in five, four, three, two, one. Pounds is closed. Let me check the pounces. Okay, we, we put it properly here. One, 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 one,
Okay. It should come reverse, no? Shouldn't it come reverse? No, we guessed. Uh, we. Is it on the linear? Ten points. On the Linares or the Rapunzel Causeway, uh, 10 points on the direct to team 2, 10 points on the pounds to team 3, team 4, team 5, and team 6. So, Miguel de Corona is tied up as the count of Linares, it is named after him. Uh, if you got that last question, for our team, team 1. Open on the pounds to all of the teams. The Houses of Goa Museum, the image of the inside scene here, is built in what unique kind of location? Team 1. Pounds will close in yeah. 5, Clap. 4, 3, 2, 1. Pounds will close. What you need? Location means what? What you need? Team needs to be here. Okay. Team one, whenever you're ready. I'm not asking where it is. I won't reveal more because the other teams have already promised. We had a different answer. We had a different answer. No, no, no. no this, this one. one. Yes. Can you say that again loudly? Uh, it's it's built on a traffic island. That's exactly what I was looking for. Uh, it's a traffic island. So it's on a traffic island. So team six gets it on the pounds. Team 3 gets 10 points on the pounds. Uh, so it wasn't a board, so it's minus 5 to teams 2, team 5 and team 4. Okay, time for an audience question before we move to the last round. What location in Goa is this that is visible from, so this is a Google map image by the way. If you are driving by road, it is still visible from quite some distance as you approach it. Where would you see this? It's an audience question. Is the right answer? Yes, this is the roof of nice. the NIO auditorium. So if you are approaching actually from the university side towards Donapala, you can see it as you reach the crest of the hill there and you start descending towards Donapala circle. Uh, Alright, so one round to go. So we are going to take a look at the scores to see what the teams need to do in the last round. Over to Merupama for 
Campus Course. Okay, at the end of round four, we have team one at 145. Team two is at 90. Team three is leading with 160. Team 4 is at 75. Team 5 is at 115. And Team 6 has made quite a comeback with 90 points. I think the last direct was to team 1 and it passed all the way around. Uh, so we are going to start again with team 6. This round, uh, think an well, easy round I like to think, is an art and artist from around the world. So stay ready on the pounds. Uh, first question of this round to team 6, open on the pounds to all of the teams. Here's the first question. Which Indian city would one need to go to to see this painting by Raja Ravi Varma? It's called The Lady with the Lamp. But I don't need the name of the painting. I need the name of the city that this painting is located in. It's also part of a museum where they've done some interesting lighting to accentuate the whole effect of the lamp in the painting. But it's our direct, but it's on the pounds. Okay. In the name of the city. So it's our direct. What do you think? Pounds what do you think? In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pounds is closed. One team is pouncing. Alright. Uh, team 6. Ready when you are. Okay, decide. Just one thing. You are a lot answer. Answer, answer, answer. Team 6 need an answer. Somewhere. Somewhere. Somewhere in the south. <laughs> Can you give me a city? Kochi. Uh, not Kochi. Passes to team 5. Mysore. Kanyakumari. Uh, not Kanyakumari. Team 4. Thiruvananthapuram. Not Thiruvananthapuram. Passes to team 3. Uh, is it Mysore? 10 points! But it's actually located in Mysore Palace. Uh, what the visit? Not just the palace, but seeing the painting also in the palace. Yes, you know, there. 10 points to team 3 on the pass and minus 5 to team 1 on the pounds. Next question will be to team 2 on the direct, open on the pounds to all other teams. Name this art museum part of a 30-year agreement between two countries to bridge the gap between Eastern and Western art. The construction work was criticized for human rights violations and its curatorship has been criticized for Western bias. So I need the name of a museum and a no, 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 city. So this one? Part answer. Museum plus city. Need both parts to be right on the pounds. Direct this to team 2 and I'll close the pounds in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pounds is closed. Okay, two teams pounds. Uh, direct is to team 2 and away are ready. Passes uh, team six. Is it uh, is it the museum which Charles Collier built in uh, Lisbon? Uh, not 
the Charles Correa Museum in Lisbon, team 5. Pass, pass. Passes, 4 pounds, 3 pounds. It was your direct. I'm going to take it to the audience. Let's see your hand up there in the back. Now I can The Louvre Abu Dhabi. Great answer. Give me a surprise. And it's 10 on the pounds to team 3. And team 4. This is the Louvre Abu Dhabi. Uh, as with a lot of structures in that part of the world, there are human rights concerns. And uh, well, there is a debate going on over how much of Eastern art there really is in the museum as compared to Western art. Be that as it may, that question passed all the way around. That was to team 2, which means the next question will be to team 1. Open on the pounds to all of the teams. This painting by Leonardo da Vinci became the most expensive ever sold at auction, fetching 450 million in 2017. Debate continues over da Vinci's role in the painting, but the imagery of Jesus is a strong clue to the painting's name. Name it. Direct to team one. Don't answer yet. Uh, pounds is open for another five, four, three, two, one second. Pounds is closed. No, no, no. We are pounds. So teams two, three, and four pounds uh, direct to team one when we are ready. Savior of the world. No. Oh, Jesus Christ, Savior. Give me another name for it. That is that. Salvador Modi. Ten yes. points. Yes. This is Salvador Mundi. Uh, that's ten points on the direct team. One. Ten points on the pounds. Two teams. Two. The next question will be to team 6. Three questions to go today uh, and if we need tiebreakers, we'll see about that. Uh, direct to team 6, here it is. Easy one. As I like to think, identify this painting housed in Oslo and stolen twice in 1994 and 2004 and recovered both times. Direct to team 6, open on the pounds to all other teams. I just need the name of the painting. Pounds will close in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pounds is closed. Team 6, whenever you're ready. Scream by Edward Munch. Scream by Edward Munch. What you see is what it is. Scream. 10 points to Team 6. in Lillehammer, Norway and the story goes that the security was so busy watching the opening game ceremony that the thief just walked in and took the painting. Of course that may be an urban legend which has you know, been exaggerated over the years but uh, we found the painting in the end. Direct to team 5. Open on the pounds to all of the teams. The Madonna of Dash by Michelangelo is a sculpture of Mary and Jesus located in which city that fills the plan. The city's historic center is known for its canals and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Direct to team 5. Don't answer yet. Open to 5. Four, three, two, one. Pounds is closed. Should 
In five, when are you ready? When is Italy? Venice is the wrong answer. Minus five to all the teams for putting <laughs> Venice there, uh, except for team five, which had it as a direct. Uh, so minus five to teams one, two, three, four, and six. It's not Venice. Uh, anyone in the audience or the teams? Yes. Uh, today. No, no, this is not Amsterdam. Milan, Milan. So we are getting closer. Milan. No. Milan. I'll reveal the answer. Bruges. Bruges, yeah. Painting in the sculpture is called the Madonna of Bruges. Uh, also, a city known for its renown. Not Venice. That was to team 5, went all the way around. So the next question, the last question, unless we have tiebreakers, will go to team 4. Open on the pounds to all other teams. We have nothing to lose, we are last. What famous painting by Grant Cool is this a parody of? So I don't want you to name who you see in the painting. But I want to know the name of the original painting that this painting is a parody of. Direct is to team 4. And pounds is open for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Team 4. Is it a painting of a witch? Uh, not painting of a witch. No, no, no. Uh, no, no. Team no, no. 1. I know this thing. Just yes, yes. see anything. The farmers? Not the farmers. Uh, passes to team 6. See, see, see. See, see. See, see. see. see man. Say something. One minute. One minute. Just say, yeah, try your luck. You're getting a point. You're losing nothing. <laughs> try your luck. Team six. The Beauty and the Beast. Not Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> team five. Devils. No. Uh, team four. It was your direct. Audience. Yes, Srijit. American Gothic. Uh, surprise. And who are these two characters? So the painting on the left is the original painting. Uh, what we saw earlier and what you see on the right are Star Wars parodies of that painting. It's called American Gothic. Uh, so on the pounds we had team 2 and team 3 get it right. Which brings us to the end of today's quiz. And uh, before we look at the scores, we have one last audience question. Identify the artist. Oh. You want to go there? You had your hand up? Yes. Vincent Van Gogh. Give him a prize. Yes, it is. Vincent Van Gogh. So let us now see if we need tiebreakers or not. <laughs> Never mind. Good, good, good effort. Good effort. The bounce, bounce thing was a bit tricky. Yeah. Huh? Well, you should not go into this because what? you get minus points. No? You're not sure. And also, that no, also that topic. You no, know, that topic is not our field. Yeah, this is not my field. Yeah. Yeah, it should be highest to choose. To choose. If you were that side, we would have been better. Three is the best position to take. I see. Three is the best position to take. Because it's midway. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure.
Thank you. Looks like we have tiebreakers. So before we get to the tiebreakers, uh, I'm going to go through the scores in increasing order. I want to give each of the teams a big hand to make it to the finals. At 90 points, we have team 4, Agnelites. Give them a big hand. At 95, we have Ami Goykar. Team 6. Currently tied, we will have to break this tie. At 115 points, we have the Triple A's and Fernandez Familia. In second place, we have the History Warriors with 145, Team 1. And winning first place today with 205 points, the Wizards of Hall. Okay, so tiebreakers for Team 2 and Team 5. Uh, here's how it will work. Uh, it's a sudden death. I have uh, three questions. I'll explain question three if we get to it. But I'll show one question at a time. You can write down the answer. And whichever team gets the right answer first, the team wins. If you both get the right answer or you both get the wrong answer, we move to the next question. And so on. No prompting for the other teams, please. Here's the first question to team 2 and team 5. What is scheduled to occur in Goa from November 21, 2024 to January 5, 2025? Both teams got that right. Anyone in the audience wants to shout out the answer? Yes. Exposition is the right answer. Exposition is the right answer. Question 2 to team 2 and team 5. Which Goan singer shot to fame in 1997 with playback singing for the movie Sapne? get that right as well. <laughs> Anyone knows the answer? Shout it out. Hema Sardesai. This is Hema Sardesai. <coughs> okay, now the third question is what we call our nearest to the bull, <laughs> which means the answer is a number. You have to write a number and whichever team is closer to the number wins. Here it is. How many artifacts are currently on display at the Museum of Christian Art? The building we are in. Really? I think we are around there. It will be half there. Your pen? Is this your pen? Your pen? Team 2 said 90, team 5 said 200. I'm going to give the mic to the curator of the MoCA to say how many artifacts are there. 
on display today. Yes. One hundred and sixty-four. So one hundred and sixty-four is closer to two hundred, which means uh, one hundred is familiar. You come in in third place today. Give them a big hand. My colleague Benjamin is quickly writing in your certificates. I will speak a little bit about the space where we are. I think everybody should go back with some information about the place where you spent about an hour and a half, two hours. So, of course, we are located in Asia's first and largest convent that was built in 1627. It took them 20 years, so between 1607 to 1627 is the construction period of this convent of Santa Monica. It was a cloistered convent, that means once nuns joined the convent, they could not step out again, nor could they interact with the general public or their family or friends. They lived here in complete isolation. As of today, you don't have access to the rest of the building because though it is not a cloistered convent, it is an institute for nuns who come from different parts of India to study. They come through their higher courses in philosophy and theology. The only part of the convent that you have access to is the church and the attached museum, which was originally the choir area. That means the nuns would participate in the masses from that side, that is the museum section today, and the public were allowed to assemble and gather here and participate in the masses. This is a state protected monument. The Directorate of Archaeology looks, uh, is, has listed this as a state protected monument. We did receive funds from the state archaeology for the restoration of this church which was extensively restored over a period of five years. What did we do? We fixed the roof, but it's a never-ending process. It just keeps having a lot of issues. Nonetheless, we did repair the roof. We de-plastered the cement walls that were cement plastered in the 1950s. Uh, and we re-plastered with the traditional mud lime plaster. What else did we do? If you look at the ground floor, the flooring of this church, when we were in, started the works, they had a red oxide cement flooring, which was in a bad condition and had a lot of moisture trapped. So we decided to take off the red oxide cement flooring, not knowing what we would replace it with. But we found the original flooring, which is the 17th century flooring, which we have retained. We also discovered many artworks hidden under layers of lime and some under wooden panels. Like here, there was a large wooden pulpit. There are photographs in the back to explain what exactly, uh, how exactly the pulpit looked in 2010 when we were taking it down. There was a large wooden pulpit which we took down for restoration but found the original 17th century pulpit hidden underneath. It was not in this condition, we had to restore it, but the stone of the pulpit is original. Uh, we also found a lot of the red and white artwork, which we call Kavi, which already existed in Hindu temples before the arrival of the Portuguese. The same uh, artists were asked to work in the churches and you have the artwork coming into the churches. The designs and motifs might have been different, but the, uh, the technique was the same. So it was called scraffito in our churches, but it is the same caviar using carb, which is the red soil pigment, and the white of the lime. Uh, a lot of extensive work on the art on the altars, different altars around the church. The paintings were also conserved. We had a team of two Portuguese conservators and a team from Goa called the Biko family. Nello and his sons Nixon and Glenn and their team, along with Miguel Mateos and Josef Astana, did a lot of the, uh, did all the art conservation and the team that did the civil works, the restoration of the building were architect Keta, uh, 
Arsenio was the contractor and a large team. Of course, this would not have been possible without the persistence of the managing committee and the support of the State Archaeology Department to conserve and restore this this church space which we now use as an extension of the museum for various activities like this, uh, quizzes, uh, lectures on art, heritage, conservation, exhibitions, sacred music concerts, school visits. When we have large numbers, we can't take them all into the museum at one time. So we gather them here, give them a presentation uh, and then take them into the museum space. So this is how we keep a heritage monument alive by using it in a context which does not take away the relevance of the space. Uh, I hope you all will have time, if you all have not had time, maybe after we finish with the prize distribution to just visit the museum and or come back another day, you're most welcome. Okay, great. My colleagues have given me the thumbs up that I need to end this little brief information session and uh, we now have the prize distribution and certificates for all the participants. We have a young team from the Gera School who came in today, uh, all 12 year olds. Uh, they are first quiz from outside the school, so a big hand to them as well. Over to you, Benjamin. So, giving out participation certificates to all, I request Asuntal kindly come forward with certificates. So I'll call upon the names, kindly come forward. We have the next team, Kiara Raujo, Vedani the Costa, and Valdesh Costa. Next team. Carl Fariush, Raiden Frank, and Ryan Frank. Srijit Kumar and Mayur Sheet. Next team, Shivdip K. Naik, Gautam Fatte, and Siddesh Dari. Actually, we did lend their pin. Yeah, but the thing is that, uh, see, it's the almost, bounce, it's almost bounce. strategy. You have to choose, now see, that team took four. Three. Yeah, they took them three was a good thing. The first, it was stuck, all the questions were stuck there. And we made a few mistakes on the bounce. The questions were nice. I like the quiz. The quiz was nice. It's on my cup of tea. So we have some special prizes for the top scoring family team. Can we have the top scoring family team with the Nancy Media?
The top scoring under 18 teams. And for the top scoring all women's team, the Fulu team. That light, light is there. Their no? faces light. will come dark. Faces will come dark. He should stand this you, side. You stand this side. Let the let the photographer stand this side. And the yeah, side. You, you go there. You go there. Yeah. You go that side. Who's getting it? Oh, turn off the projector. Some lights. You said this coming. So the sixth placed team today, uh, I'd like to call them up here, uh, Agnelites, Bonnie, Nishan and Daniel. Fifth place, we have Ami Goykar, <laughs> Frederick, Clara, and Paula. In fourth place, uh, you guys just made it through in the prelims on start questions, but luck deserted you in the tiebreakers. But a team formed actually just before the prelims uh, with Anil from Pune, Arena, and Anjali uh, coming in fourth today. Give them a big hand. The triple A's. To give the winners their prizes to hand them over, may I call Advocate Rona Krau, a committee member who is present here with us today.
second place alpheus ritesh and runa the history warriors Yes. We enjoyed the food. Yeah, thank you. 